Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Pay and welcome to Blue Ocean Crypto. Today, we're going to get started in Farmer's World. If you missed our introduction video to Farmer's World, you'll find the link popping up on the screen now. It'll give you a good overview of how the game works. So be sure to check it out if you haven't already. Farmer's World is a resource management game played on the WAX network. If you're unsure where to go, check the description below. We'll have all the official links there. Step one, log in. To get started, let's go to the Farmer's World website. We'll click the play to earn button in the top right, and this will open a new browser tab. Clicking the login button will prompt us to connect our Wax wallet. If you haven't set up a Wax wallet yet, check out our video here to get started. Upon connecting our wallet, we will have to approve the transactions. The first time you log in and connect your wallet, Farmers World will ask if you want to add Farmers World tokens to your Wax wallet. Once again, say yes and approve the transactions. Step 2. Acquire your NFT assets. There are two main ways to get the NFTs that you'll need to run your farm. One, you can use the secondary market Atomic Hub, or second, you can use resources to mint new NFTs in the smithy. Since we don't have any resources yet, we'll be using Atomic Hub. Clicking the link Go to Atomic Hub will open up a new tab in our browser with the Farmer's World section already selected. First things first, connect your Wax wallet and approve the transaction request. If you remember from our first video, Farmer's World uses three resources, wood, food, and gold. We'll need to grab the tool associated to each resource to get our farm up and running. Saws and axes for wood, fishing boats, nets, and rods for food, and the mining excavator for gold. By visiting the smithy in-game, we can see that the rarer the tool, the more resources it will produce, but the more resources it will cost to mint. All of the various NFTs that can be minted are minted through the smithy. Blue Ocean Games Guild is also a great resource. We have an active community that you can engage with and troubleshoot any issues that you may encounter. You'll probably remember we don't have any resources to mint new tools, so we'll have to hop over to Atomic Hub and purchase them on the secondary market. You'll see your wallet up in the top right, along with how much wax you currently have in it. We currently have 133 wax, which is about $31 American. That's more than enough to get us started. Let's start with a tool that produces some food, so we'll search for a fishing rod. On the left, you can search for various NFTs by category, and of course, make sure you're searching on the right marketplace. I recommend you set the filter to search for lowest price, because prices on the secondary market can wildly vary, and you don't want to end up overpaying. Now, before we can purchase this fishing rod, let's read this prompt. There's no need to rush. As you can see, anyone can create and mint NFTs for Atomic Hub. So we'll want to verify the NFT details in order to ensure its authenticity. This is what you're looking for. This collection and verified batch. Also, we can see the NFT's ID, the seller, and the price. Before we can purchase, we have to confirm we have read this alert. Transaction successful. We've got our first Farmer's World NFT. You can view the transaction details here, but I just tend to close it. All right. Now we'll want to find a wood producing tool such as an axe. There are five wood producing tools and the cost tends to vary quite a bit depending on the rarity of the asset. As you can see, you can pick up an ancient stone axe for as little as eight cents. Since we have a bit more to work with, let's change the search parameter so we can find a better tool. Let's change the minimum price to five wax and see if that helps. Oh, an axe, and we can get it for five wax or $1.50 USD. I like that price, so let's get it. Same as before, confirm the collection and make sure it has the verified check mark before proceeding. That's two resources covered. Last up, we need a gold producing tool. The only tool that currently produces gold is the mining excavator. We'll use the search bar to pull up all the mining tools. Seeing as the mining excavator is the only gold producing tool, it tends to be a bit more expensive. As you can see here, the lowest price mining excavator is $7.80 USD or 34 wax. 
Knowing that this is the lowest price excavator on Atomic Hub, I'm going to buy it. Again, check the collection and that it is verified before proceeding. And unless we check this box that says approve all transactions, we'll have to do this every time we make a purchase. If you want, you can verify that you have these NFTs in the NFT section of your cloud wallet. So, since we still have some wax available, let's take a look at picking up a membership. As we discussed in our last Farmer's World video, memberships will allow us to carry more tools of the associated membership type as well as increase the amount of time needed before we have to log in again. So we have about $20 remaining. Why not? Back to Atomic Hub, and this time we'll narrow the search results just to memberships. You can narrow the search further by searching specifically for a wood, food, or gold type membership. Let's start with wood. Membership rarity is categorized as either bronze, silver, or gold. As you can see, the lowest cost bronze wood membership is about a dollar. Maybe we can find a more rare membership type for a similar cost. Let's look at the silver wood memberships. And there you go, a silver wood membership for also five wax. Let's grab a second silver wood membership too, since we're here. While we're at it, let's grab a couple of food memberships too. You are limited to two memberships for each resource, so there's no need for a third. Now, just like the gold producing tool, the gold membership is quite a bit more expensive than the other memberships and their tools. We actually don't have enough for a gold membership, so we're gonna have to hold off on that for now. Instead, how about we pick up some more tools? Let's pick up another fishing rod and maybe another ax. Oh, it looks like we have enough for another mining excavator, so let's grab one. Why not? Live a little. Let's confirm our purchases are in our wallet. As you can see, our two wood memberships, two food memberships, fishing rod, axe, and mining excavator are all here. That should be good. Let's get farming. Step three, equip your tools. Before we can equip our newly acquired NFTs, we'll need to refresh and log back in. You'll find all your tools in the chest. To equip the asset, we'll click the where button. As you equip your memberships and tools, you'll see the amount available to equip decrease. However, sometimes the game will glitch and not register that you've just equipped the asset. Patience is key. Generally, if you give it a moment, it'll sort itself out. Continue equipping your assets, then circle back. We'll go over some common errors and how to troubleshoot them in our next Farmer's World video, but until then, just be patient. Continue until all your assets are equipped. Once everything is equipped, we can hit the home button and see that everything is in place. Step four, get farming. To use your assets, simply click the mining button on the tool you wish to use. You will need to approve each transaction, so I highly recommend clicking the approve all transactions option. That's one down. Just work your way down the list and hit the mine button or claim when it comes to the memberships. Each tool requires a different amount of energy and gold to maintain based on the rarity. The rarer the tool, the more energy and gold it will consume. If you run out of energy, you'll need to convert some food. Click the plus sign in the upper right hand corner in order to bring up the conversion tool. Looks like we have just over nine food. So let's convert nine food and see if that gives us enough to run our mining excavator. Hmm. Still not enough. I guess we'll have to wait till we can use our fishing rods again to produce more food. We'll go over how to balance your account in a future video, but since we have a little bit of wax left, let's see if we can pick up another food tool. Let's see how much we can get a fishing net for. Oh wow, a dollar. Let's take a look at the rarest food producing tool, the fishing boat. Looks like the lowest available fishing boat is only 26.6 wax. Do we have enough? We do. Let's get it. Same as before, check the transaction, verify, and then let's check our wax wallet to make sure the assets are there. There it is, big old fishing boat. Now we'll have to refresh and log back into Farmer's World in order for it to appear in our chest. Now that we have it in our chest, we'll equip it and use the mine button for it. In our next Farmer's World video, we'll show you how to optimize your farm and also troubleshoot some common issues that you might run into. 
In the meantime, you'll be helping us out a ton if you can drop a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you can stay up to date with everything play to earn. Till next time, cheers.